What is going on YouTube? I'm back, finally, after a long hiatus and I have to apologize to everybody for how long it took. Uh, last year didn't take anywhere near this long. I think last year it only took me two or three weeks, whereas this year it took me six weeks to get a bunch of stuff straight. But it's all straight, I'm back. I've been still collecting, I've been still talking to a bunch of people on the phone. I never left the hobby. I've still watched a ton of videos. I don't always comment, but I've watched a ton of videos, a bunch of live streams, and um, I'm back. So let me give you guys a little rundown on what's coming up because I am so backed up with stuff that's going on. You know, uh, one of the major things that's going on or that has gone on, aside from the 2019 Tops release, aside from Heritage being released, uh, aside from Bowman being released, is that SGC stopped doing uh, autograph authentication. I'm trying to set up an interview with uh, someone from SGC, so look for that in the future. The only day I can really do that is on Wednesdays, and my Wednesdays are pretty, pretty tight right now. So, but I'm still gonna try to work something out. Maybe I can get that done on a Saturday. You know, we're still discussing days, times, all of that. As that comes out, I will let you know. Also, Around the Hobby. My goal is to get an Around the Hobby episode done next week. I really, really, really want to get that done because uh, it's a few things I haven't heard anybody talk about that has gone on. And one major thing, also, what I think or the reason behind why I believe SGC stopped doing the uh, autograph authentication. Also got to get into a bunch. I mean, it's just a bunch of stuff with that. So look for that video to come up. Also, another thing, um, like I said, I never stopped collecting, so I've got this stack of cards because a lot of people wanted to know about my UV protection. And with that, I picked up some frames, and it's actually like five frames right here by me, and this set of cards, which I haven't shown yet, um, these are going to be framed, and I'm gonna take you guys step by step on what I do to UV protect everything in this room. Next thing I got, uh, I've got some mail days to do some care packages. Uh, I got this care package in from Baseball Collector. I'm gonna hold this one for another video. And you guys know I don't buy a whole lot of slabs unless I'm getting a great deal. And uh, I know Baseball Collector, you and Ray and several others out there, and Mike O that uh, are big slab guys, boom. Yeah, I picked these up. That's that's for another video that's coming up too. Um, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff. I've got four other packages in uh, in my room that I need to go ahead and open up for mail day. So I'm gonna break everything down. I'm gonna get the around the hobby done. I'm gonna get a lot of this mail day stuff done. So what better way for me to come back than with a care package? You know, the more I thought about it, the more I, I said, you know, this community is so giving and everything. The best way to come back to YouTube uh, is going to be through a care package and not just a regular care package this care package came from MVC modern vintage collector and this care package is gonna get the white glove treatment so uh, Chris right now if you guys don't know check out modern vintage collector he's becoming like the YouTube uh, sports historian his I've talked about him before Chris and I talk a couple times a week and sometimes our, we'll chat for hours on the phone. But Chris loves this hobby. He loves the game of baseball. And his behind the photo episodes are great. His oddities episodes are great. And uh, he's reached a thousand subs. He's doing a contest right now, which I am going to enter uh, with a little bit of a twist into it. But that's, like I said, another video that's coming. Anyway, we got the white glove uh, care package coming up, so let's get right into that. All right, here's the package I got from Chris, Mr. MVC Modern Vintage Collector. And don't worry, Dave, this time I'm not putting on the gloves before I open the package. I'm going old school today. I got the uh, stag handle knife that we're gonna open this up with. This was uh, forged. But and as you can see, there is a bat inside and a package. 
There's also an LOA right here, but let's pop open this package first. Let you wonder who's on that bat. Sweet dude. Absolutely awesome. This is the Washington Senators team set. I believe this is 58. And these are going to be great. Absolutely great. In my Washington Nationals slash Senators. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, really, really appreciate that. Now for the coup de gras of what is on this bat. Uh, if you guys don't didn't realize from when I showed the Negro League bat and stuff, I'm a junkie for um, autograph memorabilia. I'm just an absolute junkie for it. Here we go. And I do not know where the autograph is on here. We've got a Rawlings at a Rondack. Oh, sweet. Ryan Zimmerman. Oh, and it's on the Rawlings Ryan Zimmerman model bat. That is absolutely fantastic, dude. That this is gonna look great. This is will be displayed in my office. Um with a few of my Zimmerman cards and the baseball. So I want to absolutely thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love, I, I, I'm just speechless. Wow. So everybody, you know, just kind of stay tuned. Um, hang out and more episodes are coming i'm back into it again so look for quite a few videos to come out over the next couple of weeks chris thank you everybody check out modern village vintage collectors channel i will put a link down below in the description uh chris is a great guy wow man that is absolutely stunning dude i mean just stunning i cannot believe you sent something like that to me absolutely beautiful just just beautiful you guys take it easy stay blessed i'll talk to you guys you all later peace